guys welcome back to my sewing room so in today's video i will be filming a fabric haul slash pattern haul slash um upcoming projects um for today so i went to joanne's today and they were having um a pretty good sale they didn't have any good coupons or anything but they were having like the fabric was on sale which was good so i picked up all the materials that i need to make my um, holiday dresses for my upcoming holiday lookbook videos. And if you didn't watch my last video, make sure to check that out. But in my last video, um, I told you guys that I will be doing a holiday lookbook video. So that'll pretty much be me um, showing you all the looks and then there'll be individual videos that show you how to make those individual dresses. Okay, so, oh, and those videos will also be featuring McCall's patterns. This is not sponsored or anything. I went and bought a whole bunch of McCall's patterns um, and Vogue patterns from the Black Friday sale. I'm still waiting on my Vogue patterns in the mail. And then I also uh, just recently, yesterday, ordered more McCall's patterns because I want to start making more dresses with patterns so that they're more easily accessible to you guys. So the first dress will be made from McCall's M7835. And it is a beautiful calf leg dress that has, um, it's like mixing match. So you can mix and match the different pattern pieces and create different dresses. I think I'm gonna be doing um, view one, uh, well, pattern piece one and eight to create the off the shoulder version of this dress. And I will be making it from this gorgeous sequin fabric. I got this from Joanne's. This is the Casa collection or the Casa embellished collection. It is the sequence that has the large sequins backed on the smaller sequins and initially i was going to line this like have an interlining up underneath this but it's so opaque that i don't think it's necessary so i will be using this and i've got a five yard cut here and i've got my receipt here it was it's usually twenty dollars and 99 cents per yard but it was 30 percent off that this is going to be the main fabric and then i have the lining fabric to go with it and this is the Casa Collection um, Stretch Satin in the color Shifting Sand. And this is the same that um, one that I used for the under layer of my black wedding dress. So I love this. And I got a five yard cut of that as well. And it is $10.49 a yard. Um, and it was also 30% off at the time today. Okay, so that is the first dress. The second dress is going to be self-drafted because I didn't find a pattern um, that I really liked that would help me make this dress. So it will be self-drafted and I'll insert a little bit here to show you guys my inspiration for the dress. And I decided to go out of my comfort zone and get different fabrics that I would usually work with. The main layer on the outside is going to be this gorgeous uh, navy blue it is a taffeta y'all know I don't like taffeta but I got it's a taffeta from Joann's and it is okay yes it is a taffeta and it is six dollars and 99 cents a yard and it was 30 percent off as well and I got a, a four yard cut of this I figured four yards would be um I usually takes it used to take six yards for me to make a full length ribbon gown, so four yards should be enough for a shorter dress. And then for the lining, I picked up this crepe back satin in a similar blue color. I got a four yard cut of this as well, and it is oh, correction. I thought it was a crepe back satin when I picked it up. I didn't. I really didn't look at it. I was just comparing the colors. But now looking at my receipt, it is the Casa Collection the Stretch Satin. And you guys know I love this. I use it for everything. The same fabric as the Shifting Sand from the previous um, dress I just showed you. So that's what this is, but except it is blue. And it was $6.99 a yard, I think. No, $10.49 a yard. And it was um, it was 30% off as well. Yeah, $10.49. So I got a four yard cut of this as well. And then I'll go over that one later. And then my next dress will be made from McCall's um, 7927. Now, to be honest, I really don't like the top of this dress, 
but I have an inspiration picture that I will insert here that I really like the whole bottom and the train of it and this is exactly the same as that so I will be self-drafting my own bodice from um, my bodice block and then combining it with this skirt so yes and I think I will be doing the C and D or I'm sorry C but to make this dress I picked up this gorgeous really rich and thick um, stretch crepe in black and it has quite a bit of stretch to it so I'm excited to use this okay and my last well my second to last um, garment is going to be a rectangle box pleated um, skirt with a waistband I got a three yard cut of this jacquard look at how it is fraying away so i'm gonna have to finish off these um this the edges of this maybe with french seams or something like that but this is actually a bridal jacquard and it is like a cream color with your typical um damask kind of um floral motifs inside and i will be fully lining the skirt this fabric i got a three yard cut of it and the fabric is $29.99 a yard and I got it on 30% off there and then the lining is um, now I know this one is the Casa Collection um, set, uh, crepe back satin and I think this is the color blush and I got a three yard cut of this as well and if I'm not mistaken it is $6.99 a yard $6.99 a yard and I will be self-drafting this too because it's just going to be a, a rectangle skirt that's box pleated down into a waistband. So it's going to be really simple. Okay, and lastly, um, I got the rest of the fabric for my black wedding dress um, that I've been uh, talking about in my last two videos. So the first uh, thing I want to show you for it is the black lace that I kind of showed you in my uh, Let's Design the Black Wedding Dress video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it above here for you guys to go ahead and check that out and come back. Um, this is a really beautiful beaded lace. It has the scallop details on both sides and it has the little motifs on the inside for you to go ahead and cut out and reapplicate on. I'm actually going to use this as a whole piece, which I never do. Um, I'm going to use this as a whole piece instead of applicating it and I want to see how that turns out. I think it'll be a lot less work and it'll still be just as beautiful. And I just want to see how it looks if you use it as a whole piece of lace. So that's what I will be doing. And I have a six yard cut of this and it is $112 a yard. And this fabric is from Lace to Love on Etsy. If you guys follow me, you know that that's one of my favorite um, lace vendors on Etsy and they actually are sponsoring this video. So I'm not this video, but the video on this dress. So I'm excited to go ahead and create the dress out of this fabric. They also sent me um, some black tulle as well, which I will be using to make a black veil to go with this gown. My next cut of fabric is a three or four yard. I can't remember how much this is because I got it on two Joann's trips ago. But I think it is a four yard cut of Joann's Costa Collection Matte Satin and Black. And I think that satin is $12.99 a yard, um, but I'm sure it's 30% off now. So that's what this is. Oh, and this will be for the um, outer skirt. So this will be the detachable skirt on the outside. My next cut of fabric is going to be my lining. And this is Joann's, uh, Joann's Crepe Back Satin in black. And this is a three or four yard cut. I'm not sure exactly too, because I got it at the same time as that one. But I know the crepe back satin is $6.99 a yard. And I'm sure this one as well is 30% off. I think all Costa Collection fabrics are 30% off right now. My last, I've got two more. No, my last cut of fabric here is once again the Costa Collection um, stretch satin. I got it in black this time and I'm really excited because I didn't know they had it in black. The, my last trip... They didn't have it in black and that's why I got the matte satin, which I'm actually glad that I did because that'll go better as the overskirt. But um, yeah, so this is gonna be the main layer of the dress up underneath the overlay. 
and I got a six yard cut of this and it is the same price like $12.99 or something like that or I'm sorry $10.49 a yard and it's 30% okay so that's all the fabrics I have um next I wanted to talk about the sewing patterns that I hauled as well and these aren't all the patterns that I, I ordered I still have some about 10 McCall's patterns and about 30 or so Vogue patterns coming in the mail so I'm still waiting on that okay so the first pattern that I'm hauling is McCall's M7835 and it is the pattern that I showed you earlier that I'll be making the sequin dress from the second pattern that I have is McCall's M7866 and it looks just like this. It is described as a close fitting dress, has lined bodice with back hook and eye closure, elasticated waist and length and fabric variations. So I think we can make some really pretty dresses from this one and I can probably hack it up and um, turn it to something totally different than what it looks like here. The next pattern I got is McCall's M7878, and it is described as my nose. It is described as unlined jacket, has side seam pockets, tie belt, stitch hem, and length, stitch hem and length neckline and fabric variations. And when I initially picked this up, I should have read the pattern envelope because I didn't realize that this jacket is supposed to be made from um, fabric that stretches. Which, I mean, it's not a problem, but I was expecting a more robust jacket than that. But it'll be all right. So I will go ahead and make something out of that one. My next uh, pattern, which I was supposed to buy fabric to make this one um, for my holiday dress, but I totally forgot. I spaced out on it, but it's okay. Is McCall's 7999. And it is described as close fitting pullover dress. A, B, and C have sleeve variations and stitched hem. Um, there's a collar, neckband, side, slit, and collar back slit, and all of the different variations. And I really wanted to make variation C, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry variation B with the collar, the turtleneck from um, variation C. So I'm excited to make that one. This one is McCall's uh, M7718. It's just your basic A-line dress, but it is described as Close fitting line dresses have princess seams and strap variations. Um, some, con some have contrast overlay, uneven hem, wrong side of fabric will show um, as far as the ones that have the train. And then there are separate pattern pieces include for your different cup sizes. So A, B, C, and D. The reason why I bought this one is because it's just your basic A-line skirt and princess, and princess seam top. So we can turn this pretty much into anything. And you could use the skirt to this to make the skirt um, of the ball gown that I made a couple of weeks ago, or maybe that was it last week, the red ball gown on my channel. Um, you could use the pattern of this skirt to make the skirt for that and you'll be golden. My next pattern is McCaw's M7366 and it is a jumpsuit. And I got this because I've been getting requests um, for brides uh, they want to see my bridal jumpsuits but i have not made any bridal jumpsuits so i decided to go ahead and pick this pattern up um, so i can practice with making jumpsuits before i offer it to my brides and it, it says romper and jumpsuits have line bodice variations shorts and tapered pants semi-fitted through the hips side front pockets and back zipper so i'm thinking about making a view b as a bridal jumpsuit i may customize it just so it has a little bit more of amanda but I like that. I think it's um, it'll be a good starting point, especially since I don't make a lot of pants and tailored garments. So I would love to really practice with this. My next pattern is McCall's M7925. It is described as button front dresses are fitted through the bust with a neckband, inset midriff, and sleeve and skirt variations. I think this is just cute. Um, I probably. I think this is just cute. Um, I probably won't make it until um, the spring, summertime, but I think it'll be good to add to my pattern collection. My next shirt, and it's it's probably getting really casual, McCall's M7975. I think it's just a cute um, top. It has like a twist front on a uh, detail on the side here. It says close fitting tops. That's how they describe it. So it's a close fitting top. 
and it's made from a fabric that stretches so i really like it and i'm going to make the long sleeve version of it out of some kind of knit fabric um, that's thicker so this could be appropriate for wearing here in our north carolina winters and my last pattern that i have today is mccall's m7 i'm sorry m8029 which is just another kind of throwover jacket and it is described as unlined wrap belted cape so i really like this one too and i saw a plaid that i should have got in joanne's today and i might go back and get it to make this from i also picked up quite a few notions to go ahead and make these dresses and i don't think i'm going to go over the notions in today's video just because i'm going to go over the individual notions for each individual dress in their dedicated videos so thank you guys so much for watching my video i appreciate you more than you know and i'll see you guys in my next one Take it all back, hate the things that you said